This is the DJI Pocket 3 and it is packed plentifully with practical features. And we're gonna go over them. It has things like subject tracking, Tony. Do you even know about that? You know what it has? It has something called- Product, product showcase focus. makes sure the product is in focus when you hold it up instead of your face. We have all sorts of tests. We'll be chasing dogs. We'll be strapping this to our car. We're going to be skydiving in a desert. <laughs> And uh, it's just gonna be the coolest video I've ever seen. But first we have to thank our sponsor, Adorama. Adorama is the place for creators like us. You can pick up cool, unique cameras like the Pocket 3, or you can get drones, or you can get big things like this gimbal here for the situations that call for it. Traditional cameras, cool lights, ring lights, microphones, whatever you need, Adorama is the place to get it because they are the only store that truly understands creators like us. They have a VIP program, so if you sign up, the more you buy, you get points, and then you save on future purchases. They have fast and reliable shipping, Tony, and they have a massive inventory of all things that you could possibly need if you're doing photography or videography. So check them out and be sure to use our link down below so that they know we're doing a good job. So thank you, Adorama. Let's talk about the design of this thing. First, look how small this thing is. Hold it up against my phone. Your phone's big. <laughs> it is but small. this is tiny for a camera that is so incredibly powerful. I think that the features are so incredibly practical as well. I love how streamlined and easy they've made using this camera. Talk about easy. You turn it on just by rotating the screen here. Bam. You're in business. <laughs> and if you want to record vertical video, you can just rotate it, continue, and now you're recording vertically. And look, film yourself, Tap this three times, it rotates around, and now there's a joystick that controls the head. This is really good for moving shots, right? That's obvious. You see gimbals like this and you can walk and everything is going to be nice and smooth. We do that now. We use this. It's also a DJI product. It's the DJI RS3 with our Sony A7S III. This How's is that the reason you? I'm so strong. Oh, that doesn't even show it. You, you should like my review. Like my review. <laughs> You know, the other problem with this is the Sony has a screen you can't see in the sunlight. So if oh. you want to see what you're doing, I, I have to use my phone and then I attach to this DJI wireless video transmitter here so I can actually see what's happening. And then we record like 12 second clips at a time because our arms get too tired holding this big thing up. This has no wires. You can actually see the screen in full sunlight and it literally fits in your pocket. Enough talking. Let's just go film stuff so they can see. Okay, let's go. Okay. quality of the on-camera microphone and also the image stabilization. This shot's a little tight, but they do have a wide-angle lens that just snaps right on. Look at that. Nice and wide. I'm using the HLG HDR 10-bit video here. All that means is we get some extra dynamic range. That means that the dark interior of this car is better balanced with the bright sunlight that's outside. You can see here this little microphone does not require any sort of receiver connected to the camera. All I gotta do is turn it on and it automatically switches over. When the light is red, it's recording internally just in case something goes wrong with the sound. You can either clip it to something or use a magnet to put it through your shirt. We are in Harkness State Park in Waterford, Connecticut, and we're testing the stabilization as we walk through the gardens. Man, it handled that corner really smoothly. You can see a little movement from my steps, but overall, it's gorgeous. Two other photo shots. And check out those skies. The dynamic range in HDR mode is crazy. All the detail you get from the clouds, but still being able to see everything in the foreground and editing was a breeze. We stopped to create a motion lapse, which is a time lapse where the gimbal moves to create motion. And it turned out gorgeous. Day, night, day, two, night. They all looked amazing. What a powerful tool.
Let's do a comparison walking against the iPhone's selfie camera. You kind of got to use a selfie camera so you can see yourself on the iPhone. It doesn't have active mode when the selfie camera is active. So those cool stabilization clips that Apple show you, they simply don't work. The Osmo, on the other hand, stabilizes itself optically, not electronically. And it has active track, which is currently watching my face. So even if I move the camera up or down, it automatically keeps it recentered and when you do the sort of walk and talk thing, that makes it much easier because sometimes you're concentrating about something else, like the other thing in your hand, and it'll wander off, as you can see in my iPhone footage, which my head keeps getting clipped in. So overall, I think this is a much better way to do walk and talk style videos. We're in my basement now, and it's about as low light as like a club or a restaurant would be. And I mean, first the iPhone I can see is just way too dark whereas the Osmo is nice and bright. Now we're getting into the really <laughs> dark corner and I can see myself on the Osmo and I can see on the iPhone, my face is just completely lost. Wow, I can't believe it's doing this in low light. Pretty amazing. And this is at 60 frames per second too. This is with the Osmo in low light mode. One downside to low light mode is it doesn't support active track, so I have to pay a little more attention to the gimbal to make sure that my face is in there. It lowers the frame rate to 4K 30 and does some extra processing and brightens the image to give me just nicer images. So for really dark situations like this, I can see the versatility, the power to turn on low light mode. This looks pretty great. That was fun, but let's see how it does for unboxing style, like person to camera videos. You can attach this little battery pack and a tripod and that lifts it up some and we put some boxes here too. First we'll do horizontal video and then we'll try out vertical video. So to turn it around, you wanna press this three times. A common time people are doing these type of person to camera videos is for product reviews where you're holding things up in front of the camera and thankfully it locks right onto the product and we don't even have to hide behind it, which is what I usually do. Uh, this case is to protect all the important bits of the camera. So that's nice to have. We've already shown you the action camera attachment, the cool mic that you have. You can see inside the case, the wide angle lens has a spot, a filter has a spot, and you can attach the microphone. This is a case that DJI sent me that has all the ND filters in it, and you'll want those ND filters to smooth out your time lapses or follow the 180 rule. It'll automatically switch to vertical when I pop it over here. It switched from 4K to 3K video, but that's actually amazing because it didn't rotate the gimbal. Instead of doing a 16 by nine horizontal crop, it's now doing a vertical crop using pixels it wasn't using previously. And I've never seen that on another camera. One thing I really appreciate about this is that you can adjust the angle of it up or down just using a joystick. So you can just get started much quicker. Like I have the iPhone attached to this physical tripod and I'd have to like get here and like mess with it and make adjustments to it like like that, <laughs> see what I mean? It's just having the powered gimbal is really nice, but let's see how the iPhone does like holding stuff up. It's pretty good. Well, it's not, it's not folks. It likes me. We have to hide. Okay. It's doing it. <laughs> I have to <laughs> yeah. disguise. You could also, there are many ways to hide. <laughs> yeah, that looks great. You're going to be a real hit on TikTok, Charles. So people know I'm smiling. <laughs> There's also, active track. So I can just double tap your face. Oh, and now oh. wherever you go, it's going to follow you around. Oh, we're revealing the secrets of the studio. But how nice is that? That because sometimes when I'm filming stuff, I'll accidentally like go off the camera a little bit. Mm. Now you don't have to worry about it. And your video can be more dynamic and move around without having to hire a cameraman. So with the app connected, you can turn on these beauty filters. Oh, it can actually handle multiple faces <laughs> at a time. I usually TikTok or whatever they do like one face. But this looks great. I, oh my god, I'm never having to brush my teeth again. Okay, this is uh, this is not. You don't have to go to eleven like we did. You can dial in just a little bit and let just me, look a little more beautiful. Hey, let me try to. Who did it better, me or Chelsea? I think it's obvious you did it better. But look how smooth we look. My teeth look pretty good. I didn't whiten those. Okay. Oh, <laughs> my teeth look good anyway. I guess if you normally apply a filter in TikTok or Instagram or whatever, know that you can do it here too. Now let's try out slow motion mode. Swipe up from the bottom to set this resolution and frame rate. 
you can see at 2.7 and 4K, I can only do 120 frames per second. If I want 240, eight times slow motion, I need to drop to 1080. Let's do that. Even though this is packed plentifully with practical features, it's just not enough for Tony. He has a wish list for the next one. My first wish is to stop all alliteration. I can't, I'm, I love it. This has still camera features, but I wasn't very impressed with it. <laughs> like they're just a little outdated. It does JPEG and RAW, but there's no hack files. What the heck? <laughs> The aspect ratios are weird. You can do stills in 16 by nine or one to one, but you can't do more traditional like three by four or four by five, like eight by 10. That seems like an easy fix actually. Yes, okay. these are actually software based okay. things. And uh, I would love to be able to do long exposures of like a moving car because the gimbal would be really good at stabilizing that. There's no way to do continuous shooting with stills as far as I could tell. Oh. I would love to see a pro version of this. There's still room to upgrade me, give me a faster lens with a little bit better low light performance, some more background blur. I would love some internal storage, especially if you could record redundantly internally and to a card because when I was offloading the card once, it didn't connect to my computer. And for a minute there, I thought I lost all the footage that we recorded. So you had a feeling and <laughs> now they feeling. need redundancy. <laughs> Cards fail though, and especially micro SD cards, man, it's really easy to drop it. Does this thing have a polarizing filter? That I would be pleasing. They didn't send me one, but third parties have made them for other versions of this, the older version, so probably okay. so. The time lapses are amazing, but to get smooth time lapses, you want to put an ND filter on there and it doesn't show me the actual exposure time that it's going to use. I could switch to manual, but that's kind of clumsy. I think what I actually want is auto exposure, but for it to tell me which ND filter to put on to get the right smoothness. Okay, you want to simplify that process. I think that makes sense. Yeah, the mic setup is cool, but it doesn't show me the audio levels on the screen. Maybe if they were like separate levels down here where I could clearly see them without covering up more of the screen. We'll wrap this up and tell you who it's recommended for, but first I want to thank our sponsor, Adorama. Adorama is where you go to buy anything for creators because that's all they do. You're not going to find a bunch of other stuff. No, you could buy this there. You can get your ring light there for when you film your videos. You can get your backpack there, all sorts of lights, anything that you could think of for photography or videography. They have it there and they have competitive prices, reliable fast shipping. They have the VIP program. It's a great place to buy your gear. So head down to the description down below to click on our link and you can check it out. And that also lets Adorama know that you saw our video and you really liked it and you really liked us. Thanks for sponsoring us, Adorama. And we're not sponsored by DJI, by the way. We're totally free to say whatever we want, but I kind of fell in love with this in the few days that we've been shooting with it. I think if you're a creator who's currently shooting with your smartphone, I think this can really up your production value without being a huge pain in the butt. Yeah, I would recommend this for anyone who's currently using their phone as their B camera or maybe even a less expensive camera without a gimbal that's not well stabilized. I would go to this. It's easy to use. The footage looks great. And like I said, the features were just really impressive. But look, we have dueling A7S III's here, one on a tripod, one on the gimbal. And I still think there's going to be a lot of situations where I want to use this because the video quality was very good. The sound out of it was really good. And there are times when I want to be discreet, when we want to walk through a public place and film something. And this is absolutely perfect for that. Things like the autofocus just work intuitively. This thing never stressed me out. It always did what I wanted it to and I didn't have to read the manual. I just did a little bit of swiping and I could find every setting that I was looking for, which is not true on my Sony cameras. Yeah, so we highly recommend it. Check it out. Let us know what you think. And thanks for watching. If you want to see more reviews like this one, click subscribe, click like, do all the other stuff. Bye. I don't know how to use it. Am I stupid? This is the DJI Pocket 3, and it is packed plentifully with practical features. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was really good, Charles. I know.
Like, we might have to do it again, though. Babe, how are we gonna go um, skydiving in the desert? I said some stuff. <laughs> You'd want those. I haven't been recording on this the whole time. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay, it's like this. <laughs> <laughs>